as we said, there are lots of events happening across western New York this weekend. From basketball to music and art, there's something for just about everyone. News 4's Ali Ingersoll is live in downtown Buffalo previewing the busy weekend. Ali? Hey, Britt, good afternoon. It's a gorgeous Friday afternoon and the weekend looking even better. Mike Syke is everyone's biggest, everyone's uh, fan this weekend. Now, there are a lot of events going on right now. The mayor is about to come over here, raise the flag, announce Juneteenth and kick off a lot of the events happening throughout the month. A lot of things are going on this weekend and everyone's getting pretty excited saying that it's getting summer into full swing. From sports to art and music, Western New York will be bustling this weekend. It's a beautiful weekend, it's nice and sunny, we're expecting great weather. Up first, starting out early Saturday, tip off for the Gus Macker tournament on Grand Island. Grand Island's right between everything, right? It's between Niagara Falls and Buffalo. It's right at the center of Western New York. It's the, it's the third time the island is hosting hundreds of basketball players. The town supervisor describes the island as the region's keystone. We want people to understand that this is an extension of all the good things that are happening in Buffalo and all the things that are happening all over Western New York. And the good events continue in downtown Buffalo, where many will be tapping into their creative side, experiencing the 60th annual Allentown Art Festival. It's going to be really, really happy and festive. and starting off the summer. It's very exciting. Thousands of people and hundreds of vendors are expected to hit the streets. We have incredible artists that come from all over the country, but I think even more important, we have local artists who come out to the show. They've been in the show for many years and they're right here in our neighborhood. Everyone's on the same page and, and you know, that doesn't happen a lot. That's what Liz Mantel loves about live music. I think the music is the great uniter. So, the WYRK the Morning the winner, Show co-host yes, says yes. that she especially we thinks are, that's true at the annual are. Taste of Country Music Festival. It's not like a, a national tour. It's a show that we as a radio station put on. So the fact that it's become the biggest one-day concert in western New York is not only awesome, it's an honor that people continue to come out. Mantel feels this weekend is going to be one of the best in western New York as summer really gets into full swing. It's like you're with 25,000 of your closest friends. It's, it's a really cool feeling. It really is. The three events we talked about are just some of the ones going on this weekend. Like I said, there are about 10 of them happening. For information about all of the events going on, you can just go to our website, WIPB.com, and click on the Found It on 4 section. Reporting live from downtown Buffalo, Ellie Ingersoll, News 4 at noon.